Year four of the Raiders franchise is kicking off in about as big of a game as you can possibly have. It is prime time Sunday night football. Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes at home taking on Thomas DeShong and the Raiders. Now for this game, there will be no Trent McDuffie for the Chiefs, so they will be without their top corner. But for us, we will also be without our top corner. JC Horn will miss this game with a dislocated shoulder. He'll be back next week. Last season for the Raiders ended on a heartbreaking last second field goal in the divisional round to go down to the eventual Super Bowl champion Baltimore Ravens this year with some more additions to the team and bringing most of our starters back. We are looking to make a Super Bowl run and the Raiders for the first time in a long time are an enviable destination and a team that is going to be on primetime football a lot this season. The Chiefs trying to defend their division crown. They will be without Travis Kelsey for the first time in a very long time as he moves on to the Green Bay Packers. The Chiefs hold on the AFC West is slowly slipping, but we'll see if Mahomes can remain the kings of the West. But the Raiders are hot on their heels. It is Raiders and Chiefs up next to kick off the season. We have Patrick Mahomes entering the game to start off his year and he is in front of a prime time home crowd as he has Isaiah Pacheco in the backfield it's gonna be a quick throw outside and there's Rasheed Rice breaking a tackle and Rasheed Rice starts the season off with a 14 yard catch and run they hand off now Pacheco has become more of a big part of this offense it's why they were allowed to let go of Travis Kelsey and not just that it's the emergence of first round tight end from a couple of years ago Keegan Upton he's going to be the starting tight end as a shot to Rasheed Rice is incomplete third down and seven as Mahomes will throw over the middle and it's broken up intended for Keegan Upton and Deshaun and the offense take over and here is the first round rookie running back Renza Oder not with his first career carry over again a six as Deshaun will drop the throw and he's gonna go over the middle incomplete pass third down and four Deshaun the throw and he will go underneath and there's Kalen Shanny for the first down Oder not the deep back now is on first down until we stretch it left to him and Oder not tries to go wide outside tries to cut it back in and Bolton brings him down Deshaun now will play action to him and he will get sacked and it's going to be third down and 15 to Shong to throw now. And he's going to have a big conversion here. Throws it. And there's Odernot. And it's going to be a first down. A big catch for Renza Odernot. And that's something he brings to this offense. And that is a pass catching back. We said in our scouting profile of him, you would be one of the best in the league day one. And he is showing it off. There is Deshong on the carry. And he's going to go outside for the first down to the 34-yard line now. We'll flip it out to Jaden Sheru, the Pro Bowl wide receiver from a year ago. Trying to go to back-to-back -back Pro Bowls as Deshong will go to the air. And he will get hit as he's thrown. Third down and five. Another third down situation or third of the drive so far as we throw it. And there's Justin Perez. And a three for three on third downs on this drive as we hand it off. And here is Derek Henry. Henry was happy to take a backup role on a contending team. And Deshaun now will throw. And there's Odernot. And that's going to be broken up. And it is third down once again. Third and five. Can we go four for four? Deshaun will throw underneath. And Odernot has the catch. And you can see we're already trying to get him involved in the pass catching game. As now we hand it to him. He's going to get up ahead for four yards as we are inside the 10-yard line. Second down and six to Shong will roll. And he's got nowhere to go with the football. He's just going to throw it away. Got his as he's thrown. Third down again as to Shong will run up ahead to Shong. Goes ahead for the first down and we are at first and goal. To Shong tries to sneak it in. He gets stuffed. Second and goal. The Raiders will not be deterred as they go to Shong again. And he meets Chris Jones. But Chris Jones isn't enough. Touchdown Raiders and the Raiders convert five third downs on a massive drive to kick off their season That's probably the best drive I've ever seen the Raiders complete and it's their first one of the year 7-0 Raiders as Pacheco now they've had plenty of rest as Patrick Mahomes will go play action rolling to the left he'll throw back across his body and there's Rasheed Rice setting up third down and one and Mahomes will throw and going to Rasheed Rice and he breaks a tackle first down Rasheed Rice getting involved quite a bit 
He's been the go-to wide receiver since Tyreek Hill left. And now Pacheco takes the carry. And Pacheco stiff arm gets the first down. Gain of 11 now as the Chiefs. The 46-yard line play action. Throwing. And that's going to be broken up by Ellis Travis, who's taken over J.C. Horn's role for this game as he's going to be getting the number one assignment as they're going to throw underneath. And there is a catch for Kadarius Toney. 14 yards and a new set of downs for the Chiefs as Mahomes in the shotgun at the 32-yard line will be a clean pocket throwing outside the comeback route. And it's going to be a first down as in the 14-yard line. Mahomes throwing quick. Keegan Upton, it's broken up at the goal line. And from the 14 now, Mahomes will throw. And he's going to go for it again. This time he's got it. It looked like a very similar play. But they want a Keegan Upton in the end zone. And he has emerged as a tight end that the Chiefs are very excited about. Could we be seeing another 10 years of dominance at the tight end position as Keegan Upton catches his first touchdown of the year as Odernot breaks ahead from the pack as bumped around with a couple of linemen. Got himself six yards as Deshaun will have a throw to Hopkins too far out of bounds. Third down in four as Deshaun will drop back to throw and he's going to get sacked. Chris Jones gets his a little bit of revenge for that touchdown that he allowed as the Chiefs force a three and out. And they take over the football. And it's going to be Rasheed Rice with the grab. He got three. And Patrick Mahomes might be getting in a rhythm here as a play action. They will just dump it down to Pacheco. And Pacheco breaks a tackle. Ellis Travis meets him. But Max Crosby comes in and forces the fumble. And there's Jeremy Chin to pick it up. Travis held him up. Crosby finished him off, and we get the football back in the momentum that the Chiefs had just about started to gain. Might have come screeching to a halt as Odernot has a gain of a couple for third and two as Deshaun not trying to go three and out again as they throw to Michael Mayer and it's incomplete. Fourth down, we're going for it. We hand to Odernot, but they were all in on the run, and it's going to be a stop. The Chiefs. Hold on, and the Raiders turn the football right back over in similar field position as the Chiefs have it past midfield to start the drive, and there's Ellis Travis breaking it up. They try to get to Pacheco outside, and Travis playing nicely so far as Mahomes will throw in under pressure. Misses Rasheed Rice, who is open. Third down and 10. Mahomes to throw over the middle, and this time he just flat out missed it. And it's going to be a field goal try from 61 yards out. The winds are pretty crazy here to start the year. But a 61-yard field goal at Arrowhead is beyond impressive. Chiefs take a 10-7 lead as Deshaun now trying to get something going. He's got Kalen Shandy on the play action. Big play to Shandy to the 31-yard line. And that's exactly what we needed. We hadn't done much since our first try, but there's DeAndre Hopkins gets a block from Michael Mayer. And DeAndre Hopkins, touchdown. It took us two plays to respond. And you don't expect the DeAndre Hopkins catch and run. Caught him off guard. And it's 14-10 just like that as Mahomes. All the time in the world. No one open though. Great coverage as he goes ahead for a three-yard game. Now they hand to Pacheco. Pacheco, he gets five. And now third down and two. And it's Pacheco getting stuffed in the backfield. Max Crosby was there with Odigi Zua. And Creed Humphrey down. That's big for us as Deshaun takes over. And he's going to get hit as he's throwing that ball dangerously floating in the air. Could have been picked off. Luckily it wasn't second down. We set up the screen and he can't get it off. Odernot was held up in the backfield. And Nick Bolton got in there for the sack. Third down and 23 now. As we don't really have much we can do here. We just check it down to Odernot. See what he can do with the football in his hands. Not much as we will turn the football back over to the Chiefs. Hand off to Pacheco. And Pacheco doing what he does best. And breaking tackles and making himself very difficult to bring down. Eight yard gain for him as Mahomes to the air. Quick throw underneath. That's going to be caught for a first down. And the Chiefs now with just about two minutes to play. Trying to get some points on the board before the half ends as Mahomes got a lot of time. And this time, once again, another miss deep over the middle as they throw quick. That's going to be a catch. And third down and five now as Mahomes struggled to convert these situations. Will he have one here? And he does! Over the middle, caught for Kadarius Tony, and Tony's got it to the 29-yard line. A minute and a half to play, throwing, swatted away, 
And that's Hobbs getting in there for the big swat as play action for Mahomes over the middle. And that's going to be a catch first down. And finding the hole in the zone is what these Chiefs players will do best as a screen was set up. And just like ours, the running back gets held up in the backfield. Can't complete it. A second down to 10. And that's going to be a sack. He ran right into Max Crosby. Third and 20 for the Chiefs. And Mahomes, he sacked again. Oh, Diggy Zua got in there. Tyree Wilson, long field goal try. And the kick is up and good. It's going to be halftime on Sunday Night Football. It is 14-13. And this game is exactly what you would have hoped for a very evenly matched game between two top contenders in the AFC and it is exactly what we were hoping for to be in this game in Arrowhead and dare I say just be in control I will say that first drive that we had was very impressive and it's something you just don't do against not only the Chiefs but against just teams in general you don't convert five for five third downs rest of the game so far Aside from that two-play drive for the touchdown, been some three and outs, been some quick drives. We got to get better at that with sustaining drives. But other than that, I think we've played very well. Mahomes has had some misses, but early season, Russ got to shake it off. And we're going to try to take advantage here as the second half is going to be up next. Here in the second half is the Raiders hold a one-point lead over the Chiefs on the road to open the season as we flip one out to Renza Odernot, and he gets the second half started right with a nice little triple option as it's going to be a first down. Now we go man in motion. Second time we've done this as Sharu. That got involved a whole lot. We're trying to manufacture some touches for him, but the Chiefs have done a good job isolating him to get us out of throwing the football to him as Deshaun will just have to tuck and run. He'll get a few as third down and seven. We don't want to have another quick drive as Deshaun will throw outside, and that's going to be almost picked off. Tried to get it to Sheru once again, and not being able to get him the football has been a little rough for our offense as Kadarius Tony will get some space and have himself first down. Spread in the field now as Mahomes will throw outside. It's going to be picked off! Ellis Travis! I pointed out how he had a great first half, and Travis starts the second half off with a huge interception. Takes it down to the Chiefs 18, and Travis, what a start to the season he's had. Stepping up as the number one corner as we have to float one up. Odernot got hit as he was throwing, Deshaun did. Odernot still has it for six yards. Henry in the game to block as Deshaun will roll left and hit as he's thrown. Once again, third down and four, nowhere to go with that football. But Deshaun will throw, and he'll go Enzo for Sheru, and it's swatted away. Justin Ree got a hand on it, and Sheru, it's been tough. We tried to get him the football again. It'll be a field goal up and good. The interception nets us three points as Mahomes will throw left side now. Doesn't go his way as making an adjustment. Mahomes throwing quick outside, and that's Pacheco breaking a tackle. First down, could have gotten him in a nice third down situation. The broken tackle. Gets him a good gain as over the middle, it's going to be incomplete intended for Rasheed Rice. Second down and 10, throwing, and that's Keegan Upton who caught the touchdown earlier. He's going to get him to third down and two as Mahomes quick throw. Upton couldn't hang on to the football. It's a little behind him, but I still catch that football. A second down and 12 after a two-yard loss to Shong. He'll drop and throw. He's got space, and that's going to be caught. Jaden Sharu finally gets a big play. He needed that one. Quick drop on first down and a throw to Shanny, who had a lot of space underneath. He gets an easy eight yards as second down and two. Quick drop again as we throw outside. Hopkins could not make the contest the catch. Now Trenton Powers in the game on third and two. And Trenton Power, the rookie out of Georgia, gets stopped. We tried to go with a little bit of misdirection. And Chris Jones was having none of it. Fourth down and two. Now we're going for it. Deshaun trying to be aggressive. And he tries to float one for Odernot. And Odernot ran a bit more horizontal. He was expecting a bit more vertical. And that's another fourth down try that doesn't go our way as Pacheco will run up ahead for a first down to the 42-yard line. Pacheco's running very well this game. And he's already seemingly in midseason form as absolutely getting decked on that play. But he hung on for the first down. Quick throw again now as it's going to be caught for Kadarius Tony And again, a seven as Mahomes outside wide open as Pacheco breaking a tackle. But he runs out of bounds. It's going to be the four-yard line first and goal quick throw caught 
Touchdown, Chiefs, Kadarius Tony, And the Chiefs answer with a touchdown. And they are now in front. Raiders got to do something here as two fourth down tries have really costed us as Oder not gets stuffed in the backfield. No block there as Deshaun will throw and it's going to be under Shrew. A bit of a hospital ball. You can't put your receiver in trouble like that. Deshaun on third down and long. Got to do something. Throws it to Shannon. Are you kidding me? Caught that. Inbounds. Andy Reid thinks there's no way he caught that. But he did get his feet down in bounds as it was a close one he had one foot down when he initially caught the ball got another foot down afterwards it's going to stand and that's an incredible third down conversion and Odernot has a first down carry now finally got some space to run as Deshaun and he's gonna run it and that play from Shani might be a spark we needed to get on the board here as Deshaun will throw quickly underneath Odernot. Tries to make a man miss, but he'll set up a third down and one. Very manageable. Trenton Powers back in the game. Power will try to power it, and he gets stopped again. Now we're going to have to try a field goal. The Raiders may be getting a little too fancy with some of their play calling, but Trenton Power, that's what he did best in college, and so far he's 0 for 2. Quick throw now as the Chiefs take over. It's going to be caught for a game of 7. Tie game now as the fourth quarter is underway and we have a catch and first down midfield Mahomes is dealing and he's not looking so rusty anymore as broken tackle from Pacheco he is so hard to bring down Max Crosby is going to be shaken up as now Pacheco is really rolling Mahomes there's a dangerous ball that's caught for a gain of four as he's here to throw again that's going to be Keegan Upton to the 21 yard line First down and 10, play action. Mahomes underneath, got an open man. That's gonna be caught for a gain of five. And the Chiefs are rolling into the red zone, trying to take this lead, and that's gonna be broken up. And a big third down upcoming for Mahomes. He's gonna go outside, and he's got it to Rasheed Rice. First down and goal at the 10, spread in the field. Mahomes will throw outside, and it's caught. And it's going to be Rasheed Rice once again for the four-yard line now. Mahomes will throw quickly. Caught. Touchdown. And that's John Mechie, the former Texan, who has stepped up as the number three here in Kansas City. Now we find ourselves down by seven with seven to go as it's going to be a loss of yardage here in the second half. We've had a lot of negative yards on first down plays as Sheru will get us to a third down and three. Nice job to get some of those yards back as Deshaun on the read option gets stuffed by Hardy in the backfield. And the Chiefs take over. It's going to be play action to start the drive for the Chiefs. And they go, but a catch first down, Kadarius Tony. The Raiders cannot afford to allow the Chiefs to score. We need to stop here with under five to go. Mahomes underneath caught. But not much as it's a gain of three as Mahomes will get the blitz. And he beats it with a throw to Keegan Upton. Now to the 49-yard line, Mahomes will throw underneath, and it's going to be caught for Pacheco. Not much there, second down and eight. Mahomes to throw, and he's going to go over the middle, and it's picked off! Gabe Marietta, are you kidding me? What an acrobatic interception, and Mahomes can't believe it. The Chiefs fans can't believe it, but Gabe Marietta with a massive play. Deshaun takes over with a chance to tie this game up. And Shani underneath her again, a five. Hurry up offense now is but two and a half to play. We got to get moving and Deshaun will roll. Throw it open, man. Kalen Shani secures the catch and he's got it to the 25. As it's going to be a handoff, Oder not the two minute warning. We have a bit more time to run the football if we want to as Deshaun will throw. And it's going to be over the middle, and that's almost jumped in, intercepted by Nick Bolton. And we got away with one there, third down and eight. Deshaun will throw over the middle, and there's Odernot. He's got it for the first down and goal at the 10-yard line. But on first and goal, Deshaun is sacked, and it's going to be second and long at the 14-yard line. Deshaun's got to make something happen with 30 seconds to play. Deshaun will roll, throw it. Caught by Sheru, and we're down at the three-yard line. Quick throw outside, Shani fighting. Touchdown, Raiders. And Kalen Shani, he might be little, but he fights like a big receiver as you take a look 
at the bubble screen. He was met by not one, not two, but three defenders. And he gets himself in the game. Tying extra point will be good. And this game is going to overtime, barring a massive play here as the Chiefs will just run the football out. We're going to overtime here. 27 for both teams. And it's been as advertised here as this Chiefs Raiders rivalry is starting to heat up. Raiders win the toss and they will be getting the football first. Mahomes is going to have to sit and watch his defense try to give him a shot. Deshaun just led a game time touchdown drive. Can he now lead a game winning touchdown drive as play action? Deshaun will throw and it's going to be broken up by Bolton. Second down and 10. Deshaun to the air. It's going to be a quick screen outside. And there's Kalen Shanny with room to run. He's hard to track down. Gets the first. And out the 39 yard line. Michael Mayer in motion as we hand it off to Odernot, who gets ahead for just a single yard. Deshaun now spraying the field. It's going to be a screen set up left side this time for Odernot, who gets a block outside. And Odernot first down and more. Renza Odernot. He's just moving around. And this Chiefs defense is looking a little worn out as Odernot cuts it back left. He's got a first down and now at the 34-yard line. Odernot handoff blitz and he gets to the outside. Odernot gets a block from Shanny. One man to B. He's got it. Touchdown Raiders. And the Raiders walk off here in Kansas City. Are you kidding me? Renza Odernot already is making that trade up look like a genius decision as he got outside and he couldn't be caught. And the Chiefs fans, who were up with 30 seconds to play, are now stunned in overtime. Mahomes didn't even get to touch the football, and the Raiders start off 1 and 0 in an amazing kickoff to the year. Two what seemed to be evenly matched teams going head-to-head, -head, and what more could you ask for? The difference here was Thomas Deshaun outdueled Patrick Mahomes in the key moments. Deshaun made the big plays, and he did not turn the football over. He got three touchdowns, whereas there was two interceptions for Mahomes. Shani had a big game. Odernot, massive day to start his career. Seven catches for him, and the game-winning 30-yard touchdown. It is just a great start to the season and it's already looking exciting as if you thought Josh Jacobs in this backfield was good just wait till you see a guy who can run the football maybe just as well but also catch the football the Raiders are looking real scary here but as we move on here to week number two it is a victory over the LA Chargers as Thomas Deshaun once again plays a very clean game Odernot runs the ball very well and we start off 2-0, and oh, and not only that, 2-0 and oh in the division. As the brutal part of our schedule is the early part, as we go Chiefs, Chargers, we play the Bengals next week, and then the 49ers the week after. We'll be hopping into one of those games and simming one of those games, but it's a very brutal start to our schedule. But we are 2-0 and oh to start things off, so pretty good for us as we have a very early advantage in the AFC West and I can't speak enough about how great a lot of players played today. Ellis Travis was amazing. Gabe Marietta with that incredible interception. Deshaun was nice. Odernot was great. Kalen Shanny was great. So many players stepped up for us and to get that big win over the Chiefs it's a real statement victory for us to really show that we are not some one-year wonder team. We're not here to just be a part of the playoff picture we're here to be contenders and trying to go all the way to the Super Bowl this year now I do want to talk very quickly about a little bit of a change to the rest of the series as you notice that there was no draft update and that is not because I did not create a draft class there is still the same draft class situation that we've had over the previous years 21 players created and everyone's involved but I decided to cut out the weekly draft update and focus less on the draft side of things now that we have our team kind of put together and the draft isn't as big for us and focus on the games and the team and what we currently have now. So the weekly draft updates will be done because I'm going to be able to get videos out a lot more efficiently now that I don't have to deal with 
all the graphical making because honestly making the graphics for all the draft update related stuff takes a whole heck of a lot longer than playing the games or recording the games the the um graphical stuff takes the longest so if i really want this series to continue to four five six years maybe it's going to be in the best interest to cut down on the graphic stuff with the draft updates and focus more on playing the week-to-week -week games now that's not to say that like i said the draft class is still a custom draft class and i still will be giving info on the players and still be dropping stuff on certain individuals it'll just be less frequently so it shortens the episodes as well so i hope that's okay as i really just want to you know get further and deeper into this series and play through the careers of Deshong and shanty and now we have odor not and all these really fun players i want to get further into this and you know spend less time doing a lot of stuff not within the game and not within the season so i hope that's okay with everyone and as i do have you know, more plans to do series in the future where, you know, I do things a bit better because I didn't think I did the draft stories maybe as good as I could have, but this was my first year really, you know, doing them. And as we look ahead to not only the next Madden, but when college football comes out, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff there. And trust me, I'm going to be going all in on college football. And when that comes out, a dynasty mode, if it's obviously good, I, I plan on doing you know a really big thing there and having custom stories and stuff for players so that's not to say that this element of stuff is completely gone i still plan on doing a lot of it but uh for the rest of this raiders series i'm going to be cutting back on it so there are going to be sporadic episodes where i talk about some of the draft players talk about some of the things going on in college football but it's just not going to be an every episode thing and it's going to be more focused on our raiders team and what we have going on now rather than you know, um, an every episode thing where I immediately cut to the game and say, oh yeah, great win everyone, and now let's talk about the draft. So, I hope that's okay with everyone, and I hope this means I'm able to get more episodes out in the future and we can get deeper into this, so... You know, that. with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. As you see, we will be taking on the San Francisco 49ers in the next episode. We'll be simulating our game against the Cincinnati Bengals. And we'll see if our Raiders can capitalize on their 2-0 start and get through the hardest part of their schedule with a winning record. I will see you all in the next one.